Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of AppSpot. In this episode we do have a great application called Flurry. Now what this is, it is basically an alternative to the Twitter.app application. So let's get right into the review. So now if you download the application you will be greeted uh, with uh, some how to, how to use the application. And as you can see already, it is perfect and really, really good looking user interface. Okay, now if we just go and add your account in. Now this is what it looks like. It looks very familiar to any Twitter client you've used in the past. Um, it looks sort of a bit like Echo Phone. I don't know if you can remember that. It has also got uh, custom noises as well, which is you know kind of annoying, but it is kind of nice at the same time. Uh, I know with Tweetbot, it has got uh, noises and everything. But the reason why I'm reviewing this is because I use Twitter a lot on my phone. And if you're like me, you, you know, you kind of get bored of stuff easily. Uh, I'm getting kind of bored with uh, Tweetbot, and I think Flurry might be a better choice to go with. So now you actually do get, it's based around gestures. So if you just slide across, you can reply, you can copy a tweet, you can retweet with a quote, and uh, you can favorite the tweet. And, uh, you know, it's just really nice. It's, it's smooth enough. It's just been released a few weeks ago. Uh, so just give it time to be fully released. And I would say in the next few updates, it will be working flawlessly. So now if we just send ourselves here a test tweet. And uh, just say tweet. Whoops. There we go. As you can see, there was a little animation there. It, like, folds out and folds in. Uh, it doesn't look like much, but whenever you're using it, it just... It makes it look so much better than just a, a cut down or just slide away from the normal tweeting. I know it's nothing too major, but it's just nice to have and to see. So now at the bottom, we've got your usual home feed, ad feed, messages, search, and lists that I've never found any use for. I don't know why Twitter has lists. and uh, Maybe use them, but I don't. Uh, now, one thing I've noticed about this is it looks very a lot like Echo Phone's uh, taskbar. So that's just something to put in mind. And now you can actually fetch tweets. That's whenever you re reload your Twitter feed. That's how many tweets will come up. So 50 to 200. I'm going to put 200 since uh, I, just, I just like it, getting more tweets so I can read up on it. Tweets that are stored locally, that's how many tweets you can scroll down uh, that you've already read. So I, I don't really care for that, so I'll probably put 50. Pull a refresh. Uh, sounds and options, you can toggle that on and off. About just about who made it. Aaron Ash is a great uh, developer, and uh, Matchwin White. Sorry if I'm butchering your name there, but I just can't pronounce it. And you've got legal information to that basically tells you they're allowed to sell this. So now, if you go to Flurry.app, you can actually go to the Flurry.app uh, page on Twitter, and you can go follow it. So guys, I am really liking Flurry. It's a great alternative to say Twitter. Uh, it's a better alternative to Twitter, I would say, or Tweetbot maybe. It does have a price that's just about four ninety nine. It's a kind of, uh, it's it's a good price. Tweetbot is in around that price range, uh, but I know it's a it's a bit expensive just for a Twitter client. Uh, but I would say you know it's worth it. A few more updates. This should be working flawlessly. So guys, this is it for my review on Flurry. If you liked it, make sure to comment down below. And if you want to see me uh, review any other applications. Make sure to hit that subscribe button at the top. If you liked it, make sure to give it a like. It does help me out a lot to see that my audience is appreciating my videos. This was Daniel with AppSpot.